if you'll recall in version 1.9, uh, let me just kind of lay out the way that we would uh, get a file so that a user could download it or could view it. First of all, we would create that file on our hard drives. And second, we would upload it to the Moodle server into an area that was known as files in version 1.9 and is known as course files in version 2. Next, we would make a link to that file that was in files or course files uh, on a section somewhere. So in this example, uh, we have the syllabus, and we've uploaded the syllabus up to the course files. And we are linking to, to uh, the syllabus uh, in the top section. And uh, this is the way we did it in 1.9. And this is also the way that we do it in version 2. If you, if you like this method of uh, managing your files, uploading your files, uh, you can continue doing this using this method in version 2. And in fact, let me show you that now. Let me switch back over to uh, my browser. And let's go through that process together. Um, first of all, I'm going to go into course files. And the screens that you're going to see in version 2, they look different than the screens that you saw in version 1.9. I don't think, think that they're necessarily more confusing, but they are different. I'm going to click the Edit Course Files button. I'm going to click the Add button. And here we're given a new interface called the File Picker, which facilitates us picking files, as it's aptly named. And I'm going to click this Browse button. And I'm going to upload a file called Linked File. It's a PDF. And I'm going to upload the file. I'm going to click the Save button to save the changes that I've made. And that's the first part of uh, getting a file available for my users, linking to a file. I'm going to go back to uh, my sections. And I'm going to turn editing on. And then I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to add a resource. And the resource I'm going to add is called URL link to a course file or a website. And I uh, have to give it a name. So let's call it linked. And I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to click the Choose a Link button. And I'm going to choose the linked file.pdf. I'm going to select that file. And then here's the internal URL uh, for uh, the Moodle server for that file that I picked. And I'm going to scroll all the way down, and I'm going to click Save and Return to Course. And as I, uh, turn, as I turn our editing off so we have a little bit of cleaner screen, you're going to be able to see that here's our linked file right there. Let's go back to the PowerPoint. Let's talk about some other options that are available in, uh, in Moodle 2. In addition to linking to files, uh, we are now also able to copy a file from course files to a place uh, on, in, in a section. In fact, we can copy a file to multiple places. But I want to stress here, these files are not linked. These files are copied. And so they're completely unique standalone files. So if, for example, uh, you deleted the, the source file in, in course files, the files file B and file C that you see here would still exist where they are. They're copies. They're not links. I'll just remind you that you still could link if you wanted to. And if you made the choice of linking, uh, that would give you the possibility of, let's say you wanted to update the syllabus. You'd update it on your hard drive. You delete the old syllabus uh, from course files. You'd uplate, uh, upload the new syllabus. And then those changes would be reflected uh, in the syllabus files that are, that are linked from sections.